Smoke Wagon, Uncut the Younger. Let's talk about that. What's going on everybody, Tribbles in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Wrench today. I'm so freaking excited. You wanna know why? Because we have a bottle, brand freaking new bottle released on the market, Smoke Wagon Uncut The Younger. Now, I haven't really seen any reviews of this, videos of this, I barely even see people having this right now it's very new very fresh into the market huge shout out to my friend Kelsey Dime who somehow sold his left nut to get this bottle he let me borrow it to review it and I'm freaking stoked smoke wagon uncut the younger this is a new thing that smoke wagons doing a little bit uh, instead of going all in on the smoke wagon uncut unfiltered they're doing a new batch, uh, very similar to their straight bourbon whiskey. It, it, more so a barrel-proof version of the straight bourbon uh, that they, they put out. It, I mean, the bottles look very much the same. The label, um, you know, printed on the bottle. They are keeping uh, the Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered dark glass, so that's pretty cool. But this stuff is a younger version of the Uncut Unfiltered. Um, I believe that everything that is in this first batch is four years old. It very well be in the future that there are five-year-old barrels, so we will say the range is between four to five years old. But um, how the Uncut the Younger is going to work is that it's not going to be batched like the Uncut Unfiltered is, where every so often, uh, you know, each month they have a different batch or whatever. This one's going to be totally batched, blended together, for a more consistent flavor profile, and currently what is in this bottle, four-year-old barrels. If you want this info, if you wanna keep up to what's going on with these batches and stuff, if you follow the Smoke Wagon Instagram page, Aaron literally does videos and will tell you everything that you could possibly wanna know. He explains why they did this, what he's doing with it, how he's blending it, literally everything talk about transparency but this is just a way to get some younger barrels into circulation get them out there that way he's not going through his entire stock for the uncut unfiltered and hopefully and what I would like to see from this is uh, you know smoke wagons already growing and they're already expanding into other states but hopefully with this that means we will see more of this get to more places because I know there are people who still don't get any of the smoke wagon. Somehow, where I'm at, we have been blessed by the smoke wagon gods to get all of them. All right, let's just talk about this bottle. 57.97% alcohol. The back says it all, so we'll just read straight from the bottle. We took the same philosophy used to create a superior, affordable, easy sipping bourbon. Then, we didn't add any water. Uncut, non-chill filtered, fruit forward with lots of candy flavors, cinnamon spice, and plenty of heat. Well, let's just find out for our gosh dang selves. Let's get some of this in the glass. Uh, we definitely cracked this bottle open, uh, Kelsey and I. And first impressions were pretty good, but now that it's been sitting, I would feel like it would be a little more fair of you. Uh, and then we can even go and compare it to Uncut Unfiltered, the granddaddy, and see more so of how noticeable it is that what they're using in it is younger. So uh, it would be a fun comparison to see how different these are. Now this bottle cost him $45. Uncut Unfiltered is between $65, $70. I mean, I've seen it even higher than that, but retail, uh, it's around that ballpark. Most 
barrel proof things I feel like start at $60 and I think that's kind of what they're going for with this is the whole affordable aspect of it just just like the um, straight bourbon that they do um, it's very affordable I think that's where they're going for with this let's use some younger barrels to get more bottles out there at an affordable price um, and hopefully we're about to see they don't sacrifice flavor to do so. All right, guys, here we go. Uncut, the younger. Here's our initial review on the nose. Man, uh, wow. <laughs> this is some good stuff. This is actually kind of crazy. I don't want people to hear the word the younger and think that it's just gonna be some you know, cheap, young product. Because on the nose, you know, from memory, and we're going to have to test this in this episode, it is pretty uh, reminiscent of Uncut Unfiltered to me. I will say, I'm not getting youthfulness in terms of grain, that side of things. I'm getting it much more in how prevalent the ethanol is. This is much more aggressive to your nose holes than the original uncut is. This is hot. Very ethanol jumping out of this, but the ethanol doesn't cover up too much of what's in there. It's very sweet, uh, kind of like the bottle said candy. It's like a butterscotch, cherry, conglomerated piece of candy. I'm getting a little bit of oak, which is weird, and I have to add this to the video because Aaron was talking about blending this Uncut the Younger and had mentioned that the problem he had run into was that a lot of the barrels they were using were very oaky for how old, they, I mean they were four or five years old, they were very oaky, and he said it was weird that they were trying to make uncut the younger taste younger because it was so oak forward there was like a bitterness like a black tea thing going on so they had to blend it to kind of like tone down the oak and make it younger um, so that being said you're getting a lot of you know age quality notes so some of the oak and heavier vanillas you're still getting that on this and that's what I really like about it all right, let's just taste it. Then we'll compare it to Uncut Unfiltered and, and see where this sucker ranks. Yeah, it's much, I wouldn't say it's very aggressive. It's not like I'm drinking hazmat or something, but it definitely, from memory, drinks hotter than the regular Uncut. I don't think it's as aggressive as I would think it would be being four. There's not a whole lot of pointy ends. I think really the main pointiness is the ethanol that's really like the only thing that's jumping out to me as being the younger otherwise it's just a very solid bourbon for $45 in barrel proof get out of here freaking amazing I, I mean I'm, I love this I'm loving it um, I think what we should do just for comparisons because I can give you my lackluster notes all day I think the true test is to take uncut unfiltered and drink it side by side um, and see how they're different. The younger, the granddaddy. Oh yeah, smelling them side by side, the uncut unfiltered, it's gonna get confusing. The, the uncut younger, the uncut unfiltered. The uncut unfiltered is so much more, it's like a denser caramel butterscotch. So think very thick, very, very thick. Like you take almost like one of them caramel squares, those candies, it's literally just a square of caramel and you eat it. It's that, it's just so dense and so thick. The The younger is much lighter, I would say back towards the vanilla spectrum of things versus the dark caramel, the dark char notes, much more in that realm. I will say, smelling them side by side, I might get a hint of little grain notes, so maybe some corn or whatever. Barely. It's still very sweet. The younger is very, very sweet. Almost cherry, 
So it's less butterscotchy, much more like a vanilla cherry blend versus the uncut unfiltered. I mean, they're both really good. So let's just taste them side by side and give some final thoughts on this. I will say, before even getting into the Uncut Unfiltered, I think if you're someone who loves the regular straight bourbon that they have, which I do, I think this is a fantastic, easy daily sipper bourbon for 30 bucks. Totally worth it. I think it's much more in, in line with something like that. It's literally just like a barrel strength version of that. So if you love that, then you're gonna love this. It's, what else can I say? And then the uncut, much more barrel, so you're getting some more char and oakiness, a little more cinnamon spiciness on the uncut unfiltered. It is, it seems like a more premium product. I will totally give it that. Um, I think it is a step above, and that's exactly what it should be, and that's exactly what this is trying not to be. It's trying to be one step below it, and I think it fills that void perfectly. I think if you like Uncut Unfiltered, you're gonna like this. But I will say what this is doing good is barrel strength bourbon, under $50 before tax, who else is doing that? Rare Breed? And guess what? Rare Breed's the hottest freaking cheese on the planet. I feel like they are filling a void or they are adding to the other player on the market who's offering a really good barrel proof for under $60. It's crazy and I think they're doing it great. I think this is amazing. I would even venture to say that some people might even like this better than uncut Unfiltered. Think about it this way. Dr. Pepper versus Dr. Thunder. Yeah, Dr. Thunder is the step below Dr. Pepper. But guess what? They have diehard Dr. Thunder fans. It's filling a void. It's doing a niche. It's doing its own thing. And it's good. Honestly, without side-by-siding it to the Uncut Unfiltered, they seem pretty similar. When you stack it side-by-side, -side, you can start seeing the differences. Um, but for the price, what you're getting, I think this is a home run. I think it's exactly what it wants to do and is doing it great. So there we have it, guys. There's my review of the Uncut, the Younger. My first impressions of it. I don't even own this bottle. So again, huge shout out to Kelsey Dime. Now keep your eyes peeled. This stuff will be dropping soon. I mean, it's already in places. So keep your eyes peeled. And when you do see it, I think it's totally worth picking up definitely giving it a shot. I think it will earn a spot on all of your bourbon collection shelves. And again, hopefully, we have to keep hoping that Smoke Wagon continues to expand and these bottles get to more and more people. So if you don't have any Smoke Wagon, hopefully stuff like this shows that they are getting enough barrels, they're putting out enough product, they can continue to expand to you. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button. It really does help the channel. It's the biggest way to support the channel, YouTube algorithms. Leave a comment down below what you think of Smoke Wagon. If you've tried this somehow already, let me know. When you do try it, come back here. Let me know what you think of it. If you love Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered, tell me. Are you excited to try The Younger? Check all the links in the description you will find plenty of ways to support me. Join the Patreon page, merch, everything down in the description. And until next time, guys, I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you in the next video. Smoke wagon, yeah. Crap, so good.